Well, I really am appreciative of this, and uh, I feel excited and, and greatly honoured to receive both the award and this trophy which uh, represents it. Um, like the other awardees, I'd like to thank all of those people, the sponsors, supporters, mentors, my wife, family, friends, colleagues nationally and internationally who've uh, helped me lift, be lifted up from time to time so I can see where I'm going. Um, I have a habit of getting lost uh, along the way sometimes. Um, and I would also like to thank a couple of categories which are not often talked about. Uh, one of them is penury. There really is nothing like uh, the threat of financial collapse to <laughs> make you actively think and, and work. Uh, the other category is uh, that of my enemies and unfair critics. Uh, <laughs> This is a great motivation to get up there and say, I'll show those bastards. <laughs> it was very neatly put by the poet Ogden Nash. Nobody thinks less someone makes them or financial ruin overtakes them. <laughs> I've, uh, in the last couple of years, I've visited 12 countries, sometimes many times the same country to listen to, to lecture to, to set up clinical trials, exchange research ideas and collaborations. And uh, wherever I've been, what strikes me is that the people I encounter in these different countries are similar but not the same to, to me. Uh, they have similar but not the same loves and hates and uh, things they like and things they dislike, their, their fears and hopes. Um, but we should recognise that these are similarities but not the same. I think acknowledgement of this is essential uh, if we are to take partake in that big uh, global community on which New Zealand is going to rely so much on, on the future. If we don't, we won't make it. But anyhow, thank you all for, for this.